Hi everyone, welcome to my second Edinburgh vlog. Today is day three of my trip and I'm doing something very exciting today. I'm going to be shooting with uh, two photographers in a park which has got lots of cherry blossom trees. So I've just got ready, I've done my makeup. I'm wearing one of the outfits I'm going to wear. You might remember this from my ASOS haul, this very floaty, dreamy kind of dress. I've got a couple of other clothes. I don't know how I'm going to change outside and it's pretty cold. It's about, um, I think, five degrees right now. So it will be quite an eventful morning for me. Um, luckily, we have good sunlight today. There's no, like, there's a very low chance of rain um, in the time that we are shooting. So I've just packed my bag. I've packed what I may need for touch ups for makeup. I've packed my jewelry. I've packed my clothes and I'm just gonna leave in a few minutes and excited yeah we've got all our stuff ready and I'm just getting ready to shoot I'm just going to record a bit of um, behind the scenes Lona is there guys just come back from the shoot in the park i feel so tired um i think we had a really nice session the weather was thankfully quite nice all the way till we were shooting uh the photographers lena and lona were just so so nice and um they're gonna send me the pictures in about a week and i can't wait to show you the pictures so i'm going to just relax now get changed and um have some lunch i'm super hungry everyone it's nine o'clock i don't know why i'm whispering it's nine o'clock i had a nice um nap after the shoot i was so tired um i've had a little bit of food earlier and now i'm having i don't know exactly what it is i ordered it on delivery it's like an oreo cake um it's enjoying a little treat and just making plans for what i can do tomorrow and day after I was going to stay just for three days initially, but then I extended in my trip to five days. So it looks like the castle is open and the museum. So I'm just buying my ticket for Friday. And um, I've also got the adult audio guides. I'm really excited for this. Hi guys, good morning. I think it is 5.30, quarter to six. And look at the snow outside. I'm so glad we did the shoot yesterday. I think I'm gonna go back to sleep. It's really cold outside, it's two degrees. Just feels the right thing to just snuggle up and go back to sleep. I've decided to tidy up the flat a little bit and then I'll go out in some time. It looks like the rain is stopping. It was snowy and rainy since morning. Um, I'm just sort of cleaning up and I've decided to do laundry because I'm traveling with very, very few clothes. So I felt like I needed to um, give these things a wash so that I feel fresh. 
and I need to take the trash down and I think that's it maybe rearrange the bedroom a little bit so this is the kitchenette area and this is a like collapsible foldable table so it's really nice it goes all the way there then don't mind the mess um it's nice and cozy this is where i've been spending like a lot of time like doing journaling or just watching something on my laptop and then of course the beautiful window which you must have seen because i've been posting this on instagram quite a lot um it stopped raining it looks like maybe the sun is out beautiful weather finally i'm panting like that because i had to run and come up to not miss my time hi everyone <laughs> the climb the steps the uphill um slope to the castle was so intense um i've just got in so i had a ticket uh between 9 30 and 10 so i had to reach her by 10 so I was walking from um, the apartment all the way here. It's about 25 minutes, but I didn't factor in all the climbing and all the steps. So I am just so... <sighs> um, I sat here on the bench for 10 minutes after getting entry just to catch my breath. My heart was just beating so fast and I was feeling so hot. I took off my gloves and the outer jacket. So I am up here now. I'm just going to collect my audio guide from back there and then proceed up the castle. The view from here is pretty nice and it's just so nice, cool and peaceful up here. So that's the entrance, that's where I came from. Um, you can see these cannons still placed here. And this is the view. I can breathe properly now. That was just so intense, me running up those steps. And there were like a thousand steps to reach up here. So I'm just going to go collect my audio guide and make my way up, um, up the path. had my tour of the castle and honestly the history is just fascinating 
and also this is built on um, like a volcanic rock which is what makes the sort of structure so interesting and so well rocky <laughs> and just going through these few bits about how the castle actually came to be and I don't really know much about the history of Scotland all I mean the part that I know about starts from Mary Queen of Scots basically when the English and the Scottish lines combined and then James VI her son but before that um, I'd really love to know the history of Scotland let me know if you know of any books or any historically accurate TV shows or documentaries that I could look at. So they basically just climbed this giant rock face and built a stronghold over this. And the city is really built around this. Also, interesting fact, this castle is the most attacked building in history in all of Britain because of its strategic position and um, I guess a lot of forces trying to take control of it. I highly recommend um, taking paying for the audio guide so that you can listen to each section of the castle and they have this in Holyrood Palace as well. I haven't been on this trip but James and I had gone on our previous trip and I think I find the the castle more interesting than the palace. I always find forts and castles have more of an interesting history, whereas palaces are basically um, you know, beautiful houses for the royals, whereas castles always have like a really rich and varied history. That, that was my trip to the castle. I'm glad I came. I was a bit undecided in the morning, I was feeling lazy and if you just walk down here, you get straight into town. Another little bit of trivia about the castle, J.K. Rowling released the sixth Harry Potter book in here inside the main hall and I think a few people were, a few children were selected to attend the launch. It's pretty cute. I haven't really eaten much today. Well, I haven't eaten anything today. <laughs> so I'm going to go down and look for maybe a cafe and get some late breakfast or early lunch. You know, two minutes earlier when I was in the castle, I said, if you guys know of any uh, shows showing Scottish history, and two minutes later, I realized, of course, Outlander, <laughs> I've seen it. Um, so I'm just walking down now. It's really beautiful, old town. Hi everyone, I didn't end up vlogging the rest of my day. After the castle, I walked around town quite a bit. I found a nice cafe to eat early lunch, then um, came back to the apartment, did a bit of work, and now it's about 8.30. I'm just packing up, tidying the apartment and ready to go tomorrow. There's nothing more exciting happening this evening. I'm going to go to now if you feel so tired i walked around quite a lot i've closed all the rings on my watch and yeah it was such a nice trip and i'm glad i was able to vlog it for you so you could also get like a little bit of an experience through my videos so that's it for the edinburgh vlogs thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon in another video bye